Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode, where in this video we're going to learn what immutable versus an immutable is, and also their specificity to JavaScript. So, to understand mutable versus immutable, we need to first understand the two variable types in JavaScript, primitive and reference, and how and also how they are stored. Primitive types are types that are static in size, not an object, and don't have properties or methods. There are seven primitive types in JavaScript. So these are string, number, boolean, undefined, null, big int, and symbol. On the other hand, reference types are dynamic in size, are objects, and have properties and methods. There are three reference types in JavaScript. And these are an object, an array, and a function. And now let's talk about primitive type and reference type storage. So. Primitive types are stored in a data structure known as a stack. The stack consists of static data or data whose size is known at compile time. This works well with primitive types because primitive types are immutable. On the other hand, JavaScript stores reference types in a heap data structure. In the heap, memory is allocated as needed. This works well because reference types are mutable. However, the reference to the object, array, or function is stored on the stack. So in this example here, we can see four variable declarations. We set my number equal to a primitive, or a number, which is 27. This gets placed on the stack here. Then we set my num2 equal to my num, which creates another entirely new primitive variable, or value, which is 27 again, place that on the stack. Then we set a variable my object equal to an object name with a property name, or key name, property wit code, or value wit code, and we can see this is stored in the heap, and then a pointer to my object is stored on the stack on top of this one. And now if we set my object two equal to my object, this creates a pointer called my object two, puts it on the stack, and points to the same variable, because it's a reference, which is this object here on the heap. So now we've got that out of the way, let's start talking about what immutable is. So immutable is a type of variable that can be changed without creating a new value. In JavaScript, Reference types are mutable, so objects, arrays, and functions. For a demonstration, let's create an array and an object. And we can see these logged out here. My object is name wit code, and then the array length of three, and the values zero, one, and two. And now to demonstrate um, how reference types are mutable, let's create copies of each, update them, and then print the original and copies. So here, what we can see is that updating the copy, so when we're updating my object two here and my array two, which are copies of these here, this also updates the original. So we can see both my object one, my object two, my array, and my array two are the same, even though we changed only the second or the copies of each. And this is because assigning the original object and array to a copy creates a reference to the original rather than creating a new object. So if we go back to our image, we can see here, this would create a pointer or a reference to the object stored on, the heap, on a heap. So in other words, the new object and array point back to the original object and array. Therefore, objects and arrays are mutable as their properties and elements can be changed without reassigning a new value. We're, we're changing this object here, so it's mutable. And now, so let's talk about immutables. So what is an immutable? Well, an immutable is the opposite of immutable. It is a value that cannot be changed once it is created. Rather, it is reassigned. Unlike we saw with immutable, modifying the copy of an immutable does not modify the original. In JavaScript, 
primitive types are immutable. For example, let's create some primitive type variables. And now let's create copies of these primitive types and then update the copies. So here, what we've done is we've created two primitive types, and then we've created two new primitive types by assigning them to the values here. And then we update these copies, so we subtract five from my num2, and we add the string doing to my string two. And then we log them out, so we can see my num is 27, my num is two, and my string is hi, how are you? And my string two is hi, how are you doing? So when we updated the copies of these, the originals were not changed. Specifically, when we create a copy of, copy of primitive variable types, a new variable was created entirely, such as we can see here, when we assign my num2 to my num, the value 27 is created and placed on the stack, as opposed to a reference to um, an object in the heap. So this is my video on immutable versus mutable in JavaScript. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. But besides that, I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.